Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing Alpha 10.5. Yes, a new series specifically for Alpha 10.5 because there's enough changes to warrant it. There's a whole bunch of POI changes, new POIs, woo! Uh, refurbished POIs, changes to the game, some PDA changes apparently, and we're just going to go explore it all. There's also Talon-based attacks. Woo. So we're going to try and happen. We're, we're going to try and get that to happen. So we're going to start on the advanced tutorial of the, uh, of the um, survival. And let's go into the settings. I'll show you. This is my seed I'm going to start with because it, it ended me on Yupti. <laughs> I just love that name, Yupti. Woo! Okay, so let's do this. This is my settings, so I'm just sticking with the normal and medium stuff for the player and life stats because I don't have to prove myself, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't increase or decrease my enjoyment of the game. These settings for an experienced player really mean nothing, and you can argue the point if you want. I really don't care, but. I'm telling you, as a 5,000 hours into the game, these stats mean nothing to an experienced player. <laughs> okay, uh, this means lots, though. Uh, so, yeah, all the rest of it, yeah, I want all the hardest critters. Um, and basically, I don't care about having a base to spawn stuff on, but I will set the block limits to uphold their maximum values as per said per block. So depending on the block, like turrets have a specific block limit to them, uh, of depending on the turret. And, and so turning this on enforces that. And I'm going to have volume, mass, weight enabled because I love it. <laughs> I can't play without it now. Um, I know I'm, I'm crazy, but whatever. I do love it way more. So let's do it. This is Yupti, and this is my seed, and I'm sticking to it. And we'll just name this uh, Alpha 10.5, right? 10.5. Um, what, advanced start? Uh, start. What? No, it doesn't. How ed advanced? Let's just do advanced. Oh, that's right. Um, it crashed on me. It's an old, I named, this is like from a week ago or something. Advanced start. I was testing and it crashed on me and I never played it again. <laughs> I should go delete that save file. So yeah. Here we go, we'll just call it 10.5 events. Good enough. Yupki, here we go. Let's start, we're gonna start in a base because I just want a fast start here. We're just gonna do, get up to, uh, to snuff right away. I don't wanna screw around with, with like running around and doing all the stupid little PDA missions for the, um, for the tutorial because we don't need it we did that already if you want to see that it's in the previous series of this of the alpha um season okay so i guess we got to grab our stuff out of here so let's do that and we'll we'll utilize this as a base of sorts right now we're gonna need we get a portable constructor right off the bat a gun pretty much everything we need to start except for armor so but we got a bike wow healing so let's use um so open wound this says open wound broken leg closed fracture open fracture Let, let's use one of these <sighs> And we'll we'll eat the food too. Okay, let's. We don't have a light. I was, I was about to say let's turn our light on. We can't. 
<laughs> so that's all there is in here. Let's go out and explore. We need to get our stuff going here. Now, baddies have already spawned. Baddies spawn instantly in the game now, so I don't think there's much of a retrieval at all. Because I know spiders spawn right away. Now, I'm not sure if other really bad stuff spawns right away. I think it does. I don't think there is a... Um, a reprieve at all for spawn. So what we need to do is let's grab our survival tool. Here, we'll grab our gun, survival tool, get our chainsaw going. We'll put the uh, portable constructor out there and our motorbike. Let's just move this stuff up higher. I guess we didn't really need the fuel and all this stuff with us. You know what we will do? Then let's set up here. We're going to set up base here. We'll put the um, constructor down. So, go like this. And we can just put all this crap in it because we don't need it right now. We don't need that. Okay. Don't really need that. Good enough. Let's go get these ores. So I'm going to rush around and get these ores. Let's um, make sure the gun is loaded. I don't see any spiders. And to tell you the truth, I would be way more successful defending myself against spiders with the uh, survival tool. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true, it's much easier, in my opinion, to hit spiders with the survival tool as opposed to a pistol. Now, shoddy, give me a shotgun, yeah, I'll, I'll choose the shotgun, thank you very much, but I don't have a shotgun yet. I need to pick, I need, see, I got a level. There's something to pick, we got some eggs, nice. So, these fibers... And we got some fruit. Now I could take down the tree right now if I want, but I, I don't need logs per se yet. I need the ore. Logs are easy to get. The ore isn't as easy because it's a little bit further away. So the reason why I'm not on my bike is because I'm going to be grabbing stuff on the way. Look for spiders. There's no spiders. We gotta look for swamp creatures. There's no swamp creatures. Okay, so let's not salvage. Uh, resource well. There we go. Resources. That's what we need. Get the iron here. Now, oh, come on. Normally, I do not cut on the first day of a fresh start. Uh, but I might, I might just to well, mine this stuff up if it's, oh yay, level two, I'm breaking rocks. Woo, okay, well, I don't know where the other piece went. Whatever. Uh, ooh, Triceratops. Now, I don't think they aggro even if, like, I'm standing on them. I don't think they'll aggro. So I shouldn't have to worry about him. It'll be spiders, spitty bugs, raptors. I don't need that. Here, I'm going to go into third-person view because, see, I can see a little higher that way. That way I can see if there's spiders. Shadows are making it harder to see. But I don't hear them. That's the other thing about spiders is is usually if you, if you move and then stop for a second, you can usually hear them like hissing before you actually get close enough for them to aggro. So, 
Oh, I don't see any around. Let's dig in here. I'm just going to point directly at the copper deposit from here because it's on like a perfect angle just to walk straight to the center of it. Now it's pretty freaking deep. 30 some odd meters in here. Wow. It's a good thing this survival tool is, doesn't take fuel. And I seem to be cutting through some sort of silt anyway or something. Didn't take that long. So this isn't too bad getting to it, really. I mean, you know, it could be much worse. I am picking up a lot of crushed stone, though. And it is a small deposit, so... I don't think we'll actually start hitting it until, yeah, right about now, five meters, yeah. Because I think it's only about ten meters in diameter. Wow, come on. Oh, <laughs> nice graphic of me. Here, let's go back into first person view. So there's not very much here to dig. I think I'll just, I'm not gonna cut. I won't cut the video. Sorry guys, I'm gonna make you endure. What was that noise? Jesus. I don't know if you guys heard that. It sounded like something above me. Now I'm all freaked out. Oh, uh, maybe it was just the rocks crumbling down on me. Yeah, that's what it was. Why haven't I heard that before? That's trippy. Is that new? You guys might not be able to hear that. I got the volume on the game turned down a little bit more. And when I'm talking, it also uh, forces the recording of the game audio lower. So... Because I'm more important. I'm just way more important than the game. Okay. Um, let's check out our pack here. 48. That's God, we suck. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Just go for the gusto. There we go. Yeah. It's because, you know why? Because you got to sit there and hold it without moving at all until it actually digs up the rock chunk. So it's, I don't know. I don't, mm, I think I would rather have it do less damage, but hit twice as often so that you don't have to hold down the trigger. You can like zap things and just not, like, I don't know, like, hold it down for half the amount of time. Like, right now, it seems that I'm holding it down. Let's see. Here, let's, we'll count after this. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. So, like, two seconds, really? One and a half seconds? Like, we could, we could lower that to, like, like, 75% of a second, like, you know, and then just, just, do half the amount of damage maybe I don't know how do you guys think about the mining let me know I um, I find it I'm mixed on it because it, it does dig fast yet um, you sit there and hold you just sit there move hold it down for a while and then move, hold it down for a while. It seems less dynamic than it was before. It seems it, it, it's like you got to be a little bit more static in your movements to um, dig up a deposit now. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. But that's how it feels. I got to be static now. Because I got to just stand there and do nothing for a second okay so i can't even see 
where the exit is because it's like <laughs> I'm freaking snow blind. Oh, and we're getting cold. Well, that's brilliant. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Ah. Okay, any spiders around? Not that I hear. No? Okay. Okay, so where were those other deposits? They're all south. Well, we might have to jump on the bike then. Let's do that. Because time is ticking. I'd rather... I'd rather get back to the... Uh, no water there? Good. I'd rather get back to the little advanced starter base before nightfall so let's cruise over here so those crickets only attack you if you get too close um, and they, they can do some wicked damage they can stun you and then they'll just keep attacking you once they get on the attack mode, you gotta like back right off to de-aggro them. Okay, I don't hear anything. Let's pick this up. Oh, sounds okay. So let's uh, get into this deposit. And then the silicon is like right there. Okay. Aim down towards it and let our. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Already? Oh, we dug up too much copper. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. That nugget will stay there. Hongo's just right there. We'll just jump on the bike. I should have. Stop by Hongo on the way, actually. I don't know why I didn't. I guess I'm just full of derp. I'm too excited to start. I, lo I love new starts. I love starting. I don't know why. There's something about the game that I really like just starting all the time. Okay. Uh, where is our constructor? Constructor, where are you? There you are. Just throw all of it in there for now. All right. Let's whip out there again. So you can see the advanced start is fairly relaxed on the temperate planet. Um, and I'm gathering resources real fast. I'll have all the good stack of each of each three ore of the basic ores before nightfall or at least i should whereas in a in the other two starts i would have to work up my level first before even getting a constructor to to even be able to think about building a motorcycle or anything else So yeah. Now they did reduce the level for the portable constructor to level two uh, in Alpha Ten because, well, it was just level three was a little much on the arid start. It was a race on hard settings. It was actually just a race to get your constructor up to be able to breed. It was kind of crazy because you you needed a biofuel. It's <laughs> all you needed, but you didn't get one, so you had to build a constructor to build a biofuel. And this was all in the default hard settings. So now you could do it. I mean, I did it. It was just difficult and 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 really unnecessary. And a lot of people were complaining that it was like you know ridiculous and but I don't know 
I found it a challenge of sorts to begin with. But a lot of people had a challenge with with the game to start on hollowed settings and those that were really challenged by it maybe should have started on lower settings then, right? <laughs> you know? So I'm looking at the time the whole time that I'm digging because I don't want to run too far into the evening before I start on the silicone because I probably want to try and fill up on iron right now whip back drop it off and then come get the silicone okay this is boring <laughs> sorry guys But I find it's much easier if you have all the resources right off the bat to give you a good kick in the butt. We're at 195. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to go through a lot of iron, so that's fine. Each iron ore produces two iron ingots, and you need a minimum of five ore to smelt with, so it smelts by stacks of five ore. Some ores are more heavy than others. Like, let's see here. Oh, I don't have the, uh, yeah, we can look, but I think like Prometheum is heavier or something, or maybe a rest. I don't know. I think there might be different weights to them, so we can look at that. Okay, three minute mark. Regardless if we're full. Oh, there, perfect timing. Okay, where is our. Oh. oh crap. We dug ourselves a bit into bit of a into a bit of a hole. That's fine. We'll do some parkouring out of here. Didn't realize that I had uh, done that. Derp a derp. Part of the challenge of the game is using your tools correctly and not being a derp. Whoa, did I ever parkour down there? Okay, so let's just level this. I'm trying to dig in the wrong spot for starters. Come on. I need it to level off enough for me to walk up. There we go. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. I should have been paying attention. Come on. See the problem the problem with this drill is you can't do the jump drill anymore because you don't have time. And that is a problem right now. It Come on. Get out of here. I might have to use my drone next time see as you slide it doesn't I got lucky that time but it usually there we go there we go come on come on there we 
we go. It doesn't drill like before. Okay, so let's whip over there. That was enough time wasted. And those crickets, they can be deadly. Just stay away from them. They won't come after you necessarily unless you're too close, but they, they will come after you if you get within about 10 meters. So... Whereas spiders will come after you if they see you. <laughs> Doesn't matter how close. As long as they see you, they'll come after you. Okay, so let's... That's it. That's all we're putting in there. Okay, well, let's run off to the silicone. The silicone matters. Okay, come on. Small wreckage over there. Okay, I don't see any baddies. Good. Let's just grab our drill and our survival tool, I should say. And, oh, can we actually drill from the bank, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, see? We're getting closer at a better angle. There we go. Okay, this time we won't dig. You know what? You know what? Nah, I will. I will dig in because it's spiders can't get you as easy in the hole. Um, especially if you tunnel in, they don't necessarily climb down the hole very well and they get stuck around it and stuff, so it's easier to, to kill them. Now, the, the crickets, on the other hand, they seem to track a lot better and they can climb down these freaking holes. And they do all the frickin' time. They're actually pretty frickin' annoying. Okay, we'll get as much of the silicone as we can. I want to get back to the Hongo, like I was saying before night falls. I don't want to be stuck out in the open at night because there's raptors which are like super fast. And I just don't feel like dealing with them. Okay, so are we going to get ourselves stuck again? Yes, let's not. making sure I can jump out of there. I know I can use my drone, but I don't know. I, I like actually drilling by hand better. I feel more involved in the game. It feels more realistic. Getting close to when we got ahead. A few more seconds here. Get as much of this as possible. Okay, we got to get going. 69. Now oh, that's an awesome number. Let's stick with that. And we'll get out of here before the sun goes down and head back to the Hongo. We might have to smash a rock or something. I'm not sure if we picked up very much stone at all there. But... Drive through these thickets. Jeez, that is thick. Okay. Let's pick 
that up and we'll just drop this stuff off and we got 49 okay so let's get some fiber and the way to do that is we grab the survival tool go into defense mode and oh come on hell can I not I can't Ugh. okay so can't take out that bushy tree right beside me really what about this one yep we won't need much we didn't pick up very much food at all did we almost none yeah, we're going to have to go food hunting. We did make level two. And that's it. Jeez. Okay, well, that's really disappointing that I can't chop this down. Oh, well. We'll grab this. We'll head back in. We'll get it cooking. Can't really make much. We're only level two. We'll just um, make some biofuel and uh, grind up. Actually, I'm going to grab that so it doesn't. Uh, so we can make 10 biofuel. That'll give us 25. And we still have enough for other stuff. So we'll do 10 biofuel. And we'll do all that. And let's head inside before any raptors come to kill us. There we go. And I am going to call it an episode here by sleeping for the night. And we will call it an episode here. So until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.